Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, a day we give recognition to Saint Januarius, who was a bishop and martyr, and in fact is the patron saint of Naples. Uh, interesting thing about him is that uh, samples of his blood were retained after he was beheaded, and uh, there's a, a vial of, of blood which is uh, uh, claimed to be his. And uh, 18 times during the year, when well, they say 18 times, I'm not sure exactly when, um, it, it stops being congealed and becomes liquid again. So how it, how it liquefies is mysterious and miraculous. Um, and yet it's, it's kept in a, a special place and, and given a lot of, lot of reverence. Um, these things are sent to us uh, just to be signs. They're not, uh, it's not something we should necessarily revere. But they certainly are things that we should pay attention to. Uh, sort of saying, well, yeah, those are definitely things that help us to, to remember that Jesus is real and miracles are real and they do happen in our lives. Just turning to the reading, we look at uh, the first reading again, 1 Timothy, and this time it's chapter 3, uh, verses 1 to 13. And it's quite interesting. I'm going to read the passage, a little part of the passage uh, to you. Um, it says, the saying is true, if one aspires to the office of bishop, and in some translations it says to president, he desires a noble task. Now, a bishop must be above reproach. The husband of one wife, and obviously these are the times before um, celibacy came in, he must be temperate, sensible, dignified, hospitable, an apt teacher, no drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, no lover of money. So the task seems to be quite big there out there for, for bishops and obviously for, for priests to follow. But deacons don't escape either because deacons also specified. Deacons likewise must be serious. They must uh, not be double-tongued, not addicted to too much wine, not greedy for gain, and they must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. So, uh, interestingly enough, that's one of the readings that is often used at the ordination of deacons. Um, but it's just a thought that um, if any of you perhaps maybe feel that you are being drawn towards being a deacon, um, <laughs> there, there, are, there were three of us active in the parish at one stage. Uh, right now, I'm the only one that's active and Noel is retired. But if you're feeling a calling, then chat to Father uh, James about it and, and, and let's just see if we can do something about it. So we'll see you again and look after yourselves. God bless. Bye-bye.